Hey guys, good morning. Here's Dora from the Netherlands. Hey, how are you doing? I have to say, I started my comeback journey. Yes, super happy for that. Of course, you know that in August I already started with some swimming and a little bit of cycling, but after our weekend in Knokke, I also started with running. Running, running, it's a big word. I have to say it's a combination, of course, with jogging and walking. My current plan is basically every week to do one swimming session, one cycling, two uh, comeback running, jogging, and uh, two or three core strength sessions are also in progress. It's very important after that comeback that my body is healthy, my body is strong enough. So that's why I also focus extremely on the core. Of course, it's not important only when you are coming back from an injury or some other uh, long period of uh, absence uh, from sports, but in general as well, keep your core strong, keep your balance, keep your strength exercises at least once a week, but if you can afford even two swim times, it makes a real, real difference. I don't have really any footage because um, I was really happy that I could go and I was really focusing also on the technique because yeah, I skipped almost a year from running. So I really, really need that uh, focus. But for the next video, I will be definitely coming with some materials as well. I have completed three trainings. So the first one was basically a combination of uh, running and walking as mentioned as well. It was four times two minutes jogging and two minutes walking. I will also put on the screen the details of the workouts. The warm up and the cool down every time is really walking because I'm just not at the level yet to do that uh, as of a run. The second workout was three minutes uh, jogging and one minute walk and that was three times. And the third time was the same, basically three minutes of jogging and one minute uh, walk. And I repeated that five times already. So it means that I'm more or less at 15 minutes jog altogether, which is okay. I'm really happy because I also feel much better after those workouts. And that's the most important for me now. I'm finally back. I'm finally enjoying and I feel really that my body is getting stronger and healthier. And I feel that I'm getting back there. One more big news. I have also signed up for the West Friesland 70.3 for June next year. So that will be definitely my A race for next year. And yeah, next to that, what I really loved the last years as well, because I was focusing more on swimming, that was the open water races, the European championships for masters as well. I really love those. Um, but to be honest, because of my private circumstances, I don't think that I can go to the pool more frequently than twice per week, even later in this winter. So I'm happy that I'm swimming currently once per week. Maybe I can do the twice per week, but more than that, that will be really a challenge where I don't think that I want to put my focus the upcoming winter. So I have to do my best with those two swim sessions per week. It's not really enough to get to a really nice result, either in open water or in the pool. How are you doing? How is this fall going for you? Maybe you are running a half marathon or marathon. Let me know in the comment box below. Hey, take care. If you like the video, please give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.